What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This time it's against Slash. Um, Slash has a pretty interesting team over there and I've brought my dudes that have been seeming to work out with me lately. Um, I've actually replaced a lot of the guys on this team, but for now, we'll see how these guys work out for us. So, from the team preview, it's kind of a mystery of who he wants to lead off with, so I'm just going to toss Flygon out there and then be able to U-turn out into something more effective and kind of just do that whole that whole Flygon thing. Um, so yeah, he leads off with this Florges thing, or Florges, I, I don't even, I don't know, these things are weird as hell, but basically I U-turn the hell out and I go into um, Clefable because Clefable kind of looks like the kind of guy that could, uh, kind of girl, sorry Cheat Gum, you're, you're a female, but uh, yeah, can take Moonblast and shit and basically anything that this, um, these flower motherfuckers want to do. I actually don't even know what these things want to do. I actually have one of my own, but it runs like a toxic, weird kind of uh, like stally set. But this guy could have anything. So at this point, I'm just trying to see what he wants to do. Um, he actually ends up switching out, realizing that he cannot touch my uh, my Clefable, and that is pretty awesome. Clefable's a fucking Clefa Clefable is a damn beast in this generation. I mean, if you've played competitive X and Y, you've probably gotten destroyed by a Clefable. I know I have. That's why. <laughs> that's why I made one of these actually. But um. Yeah, so at this point, I want to keep Clefable around a little bit. Don't want to take a Meteor Mask to the face already. So I switch into Titty Milk. Um, Titty Milk can pretty much take those things. But he actually decides to switch, and he goes back into his um, little fairy flower guy. Um, that's kind of a bad matchup for me, because I know that this thing... I mean, it's not too bad of a matchup, because I'm not really worried about status. I have Heal Bell on Mill Tank, and I know that these things can't take physical attacks very well. So I kind of had no reason to switch out, so I just stayed in and told my, my, my cow to go slam its body and titties all over that, that flower guy. So uh, it does take a little bit of damage from it and it doesn't get the paralysis, but you know, whatever, doesn't really matter. And then it shows me that he has the aromatherapy and that kind of blows because now that uh, that Miltank, I mean not Miltank, that, his Metagross is no longer paralyzed. So that's that's kind of cool. He actually also gets his wish and then the leftovers puts him back to full and I'm like, wow, we're, we're literally right back where we started. That's that's pretty cool. Um, now he decides to switch back out into, uh, he goes into this thing. I'm not really sure why he went into this. Uh, maybe he was thinking that he would be able to do more than he is going to be able to with his hurricane. He actually lands it and it hits the Miltank and it does a shitload of damage, but it's not going to be enough. Miltank is just too beastly for that. And uh, this butterfly motherfucker is too frail to be taking body slams from a fat ass cow. So that thing's dead as hell. And uh, that's pretty nice. At least I don't have to worry about quiver dances and all that kind of stuff. I've actually battled against quite a few of those things, and they've, they've quiver danced and, and done some shit to me. Well, let me tell you. Um, he brings out this uh, Crawdaunt, which is going to be able to go for the Aqua Jet, and seeing how much damage that did to my max defensive HP mill tank, that's definitely a choice banded ass um, Crawdaunt. So I have to be worried about this priority Aqua Jet that's going to do a shitload of damage to like everybody. Um, I don't have any reasonable switch who wants to come in and take an Aqua Jet from this Choice Banded bastard, so I just kind of let Miltank die, and then I bring in uh, Minchino, and Minchino is going to be able to um, scare it away. Um, unfortunately, he brings out his fucking silver ass gold X box, and uh, the Bolt Seed is not going to be doing a damn thing to this guy, so this mainly puts me in a weird situation because I don't have Miltank anymore, so it's like I'm going to have to switch out against this thing, and it's kind of like who the hell wants to take a Meteor Mash, and that's. That was a hard decision to make. I was looking at my team for literally ever, and I was like, who would be the least useful, and who do you think could live one of these Meteor Mashes? And I bring out Miss Maggie, and Miss Maggie actually does take this Meteor Mash, surprisingly, to the face, and I live it with 5 HP. And I'm sitting here like, holy hell, that worked out better than planned. I was almost kind of, you know, just wasting Miss Magius. But it turns out that um he has the Bullet Punch, which is like, fuck. And that kills Miss Magius, so it's kind of like, welly, welly, well then. We're in... We're in quite the uh, priority match. I know that he has this. Uh, this thing has bullet punch. His crawdon has got aqua jet, and bullet punch and aqua jet can fuck me up. So yeah, I gotta be worried about that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, earthquake as the obvious move as he brings out this thing. Pretty much his death fodder because he doesn't seem to have anything else that wants to take an earthquake from fast ass flagon. Um, he does go for the protect though, which is just kind of sitting here stalling. Fucking, we got Joseph Stalin over here. What are you doing, man? <laughs> This Florgus is going to be taking some HP and stuff, and then uh, now it is his time to die. Or her, sorry, it's a female. So, one more Earthquake's going to kill that thing, and things are going quite swimmingly. Um, now he decides to bring back out him, and I'm afraid of the Aqua Jet, obviously, so I'm going to have to switch into something that wants to take that. Um, Mancino doesn't really play too much of a big role in this match, so it's kind of like... Fuck it, let's, let's see if I can uh, get a Paralysis. And he actually does get paralyzed, and I'm able to Tail Slap, but he avoids it. And I was like, well... That was just kind of a smack to the face. All right, Mangino does not seem like uh, he wants to do anything today. That's 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 fine though. So uh, I'm gonna bring out 50% Shark because 50% is like, all right, I'm gonna start building my speed boosts and stuff and just start doing work. Um, he actually brings in the Manectric. He doesn't get the Intimidate because he isn't able to Mega Evolve yet, which is a bummer for him. 
but he's gonna die to a crunch and I was like alright so I don't have to worry about the Manectric anymore which was kind of a big threat so that is pretty nice and now he decides to bring out Splinter which is gonna be able to scare away my Sharpedo because I cannot afford to take an Aura Sphere um, I'm switching to Chewed Gum because I know that he's probably gonna go for the, uh, the Aura Sphere so he's gonna Mega Evolve into his sweet ass Cannon Stoice, whatever the hell, Mega, <laughs> Mega Blast Stoice is going to have a pretty sweet cannon on his head, which is going to hurt a little bit, but the Aura Sphere is not going to be able to do a damn thing to Clefable, and uh, that is nice. You know, the new resistance to fighting is really is weird to see a fucking Clefable taking a fighting move that well. Back in the day, you're like switching the hell out if anybody had Aura Sphere, but um, yeah, so he's going to be able to go ahead and just get some stab damage off on me with that Water Pulse. Um, it's not enough to kill me, and I'm able to get a Paralysis off on this thing, which is pretty nice, so that means I can uh, be faster next turn. Hit it with as uh, much damage as I can with a Moon Blast, and then hopefully be able to kill this um, Blastoise with Sharpedo later. So the main thing was being able to get a little bit of damage off on this guy, because basically Sharpedo can't do it if it's got full health, and then he would kill me with an Aura Sphere. So we got a pretty risky move. I had to keep Sharpedo around for the rest of the match if I wanted to win. Um, I go into Sharpedo and go for the Crunch, and I end up getting a critical hit, which arguably mattered. I don't, I don't know. That was, that was pretty intense. But you know, nonetheless, Sharpedo's still out here getting a speed boost and stuff. Now he's going to bring out Metagross, or no wait, not Metagross, now he's going to bring out um, his Crawdaunt and he's going to be able to take an Earthquake and he doesn't go for the Aqua Jet just because he wants to get the knockoff off and uh, the knockoff off and he does smack me, that hurts and that is enough to kill Sharpedo, so Sharpedo's done, we're like, I'm sitting here like holy shit, all I have left is Flygon, if he can, uh, he's, get, he's, he's choice banded into, uh, into knockoff so what he has to do is, is he has to switch out into his Metagross to be able to take the Earthquake and die so then he can later switch in his Crawdaunt with a choice band, be able to break through the paralysis, hopefully, and hit me with an Aqua Jet, which reasonably, which is going to do a reasonable amount of damage. Um, he actually goes for the Bullet Punch on his Metagross to be able to get a little bit more damage off on me, and it's like, holy shit, if Flygon can take an Aqua Jet from a choice banded Crawdon, at this point, I can win. But if it kills me, he wins. So at this point, it's kind of like, alright, get paralyzed, motherfucker. He doesn't get paralyzed, he breaks through, goes for the Aqua Jet. Solomons does not feel like dying today, and I live with 13, and I'm able to kill that thing with an Earthquake. So that was a really that was a really intense match. It was kind of a random funny one, but it turned out to be really down to the wire, and that was that was that was extremely fun. So I realized that all of the Pokemon used in this match weren't UU, but you know whatever. I I, I just used shit that I had fun with. But um, I will be doing more UU and U matches and stuff soon. So uh, hopefully look out for that, guys, and I will see you later.